Hello everyone, welcome to Lee Dynasty Kitchen. If you love Vietnamese food, I think you have tried this dish before. Yes, it's Vietnamese crepe, bánh xèo. And remember this machine, 8 inch mini dash. I have shared with you before how to make the rice roll. And today again with this machine, I can share with you a very simple and easy way to make bánh xèo without standing at the stove. You stand right here at the kitchen counter, plug it in the laptop, plug it in the mini dash, and making bánh xèo, watching your MV at the same time. Very simple, very comfortable, and uh, the cake, the crepe, it turned out is very, very yummy. I promise. You're gonna love it. And today with my recipe and my sharing, I, we have two ways to make the mix. Um, with my experience, I like the first one. But you can check it out and try see which one you like better, all right? So join me today, Guy the Sea Kitchen with one set. Cooking has never been easier than this. Look is how nice and a very relaxing atmosphere to make bun sale right at the kitchen counter, not at the stove. There is a few difference between the 8-inch machine and the pan on the stove. You will find out that the bun sale made from 8-inch machine won't have that crispy thin layer around the bun sale like the one on the stove. Other than that, Tastes very good, very yummy, and on top of that, it's yield very little, little of oil, so it's much, much healthier. So let's find out how good is a crepe by 8 inch machine. So first of all, this is the uh, powder we're gonna use, and we're gonna use one cup of beer, all right? One cup of beer mixed with uh, the uh, one bag of the uh, bánh xèo powder, three cup of warm water, half teaspoon of the sea salt, mix it all well together, okay, mix it all well together. We're gonna add some chopped green onion, okay, put it on there and mix it up. To make it extra, um, nice color we're going to add one teaspoon of annatto powder and then uh, two teaspoons of cooking oil this is all what we need okay you can buy that bag of mixed powder at any asian store okay this is the second uh second way to mix if you don't like to mix with beer you can use uh, the same thing one whole bag of the bun cell powder one teaspoon of annatto powder, three cup of warm water, and, and one can with Coco Rico. Mix this all well. Okay, add two tablespoons of oil and chopped green onion. Same like the first way. Mix all well. Alright. Don't forget half teaspoon of sea salt. Okay. And now with the filling, we need side pork or any kind of pork and shrimp. You know, after wash, peel the shrimp and divan. Okay, make it look like this. So we're gonna start to fry them. First of all, we're gonna cook the uh, pork. Bring the water to boil, and then put the pork inside and cook for a few minutes. Okay, to do like this. So when you cut it out, thin slice the piece like this. And then when you fry it, the meat gonna look nice and flat. You know, the, the, the piece of the pork will be look nice and flat. So that's why we're gonna, um, you know, steam a little bit. And because of the uh, machine eight inches, it's very small. Uh, so we're gonna fry the shrimp and pork ahead before we, we put it on the crepe. Okay. After we side all the meat, we're gonna uh, add a little bit of oil, fry with uh, a little bit of uh, chopped garlic, and uh, put the pork in, fry them. 
to make it smell good, you don't need to marinate it because we're gonna eat bun xiao with the sauce anyway, so we don't need to. But if you like, you can add a little bit extra of flavor if you like. Again, with shrimp, put some garlic with oil, fry it, and then add the shrimp. After you add the shrimp, you're gonna fry them to cook. Then, with the shrimp, we're gonna divide, we're gonna cut, slide the shrimp to half. Again, we don't have to marinate it because we're gonna eat bun xiao with the sauce, all right? So slice shrimp to half after you're done. So here we go, we already the filling. We have shrimp, we have pork, we have bean sprout, and I like to add some mushroom, you know? Very yummy. So. First of all, we're gonna use the brush to oil a little bit with the with the um, eight-inch machine. It's very little, I can as you can see, very little of oil. They okay, use one third of the cup measurement. Scoop the powder, scoop the butter, and then uh, pour right in the middle of the machine and turn around the machine. It's same like the way you do with the rice roll, the ban kum. Okay, turn around the powder to make sure it's all go up there. Okay, then we add pork, we add shrimp, we add uh, bean sprout, mushroom. Make sure we put the bean sprout at the half side. So the other half we're gonna fold it so it, it, the crab won't get break, uh, you know, it won't get broken. Okay. Cover the lid and then start to do the other one. Same thing, one third of the cup, not full, not completely full, okay? And then add the filling, same thing, cover the lid. Open the other lid to make sure for the crepe is get cooked and get lift up the powder, like the, the butter gonna lift up, then you know when it's ready, all right? The, this procedure is the same thing with the one you do on the stove. It takes about five to seven minutes to get cooked the, the butter, and then get crunchy and lift up around the, uh, the crepe. So if you can see some uh, broken spot like this, some empty one, you can just add it on the, the mix, cover the lid, that's it, no panic, there's no, no worries, cover the lid and then it get cooked. All right, so as you can see, when the mix get almost ready, you can see it lift it up a little bit. To make sure the crab have to be completely lift up so you can turn around the crepe. That is when you know it's crepe is ready to take it out. See, just like that. You see, the beautiful is you don't use much oil. Just a little bit like that around there to, you know, make it extra creepy. But other than that, compare with the one on the stove, it's a lot less oil which is that what we want. We want it more healthier, you know? So make sure when you see the crepe, see, when you turn around the crepe like this, that means the crepe is almost ready. So just leave it on for a little bit to get more, uh, you know, crunchy. Then we're gonna take it out. This is how you know when the crepe is ready to take it out. So have to be patient, you cannot rush. This procedure has to get it done right. So the crepe will be completely cooked and then get crunchy. There we go, you can see now. See, and then you just see it like this. You just see the small spatula and fold it over. See, look at that, how beautiful, how yummy. All right, leave it on a little bit at the other side. It's okay, no problem. Check the other side, same thing, now it's ready. 
Okay, so then we're gonna scoop it out. When you scoop it out, look at that. You leave on the wrap to let, let it cool down a little bit before you put that on the plate. Same thing to start the new one. You give one third of the cup and pour it right to the machine. Turn around to make sure the mix is all go around and add the filling. Cover the lid and we wait for it to cook. Take out the other one and do the same thing. See, you don't have to get the full of one third, okay? Just a little bit less than one third. That's it. Turn around the powder to make sure it's all nice and even and add the filling. Okay, there we go. We cover the lid. Please make sure the procedure has to be done right. It has to take five to seven minutes, same like the one on the stove. That means we have first we have to cook the, the butter, then wait for them, wait for the crib to nicely lift up the whole thing. So you can turn around. You see, because this eight inch machine, we cannot turn down the heat. So we have, when it's lifted up like that, we make sure we turn around, around a little bit to make sure it's not too dry at one spot. All right, so make sure we do that. See how nice and leave it up, turn around, that means the crepe is almost ready. See that? Fold it. That's it. It's ready. Okay. There we go. Mmm, looks so yummy, yummy. Okay. And look at how much oil we use it. Very, very little. So, you can have the nice and, you know, um, delicious bun cell with very little oils so that make you feel more comfortable to eat more and eat more often okay see turn around turn around like that you can see in this one the one on the had the bean sprout is more crispy so we're gonna turn lift flip it over from the bean sprout usually the opposite way but so it depends all right, so take it out, the crab, and leave it, make sure leave it on the rack to be, let it uh, cool down a little bit before we put on the plate. Same thing, one third, a little bit less than one third of the mix, and then put it on the machine, add it on the filling, that's it, we're ready to go. There we go. Okay, now see, when you turn around like that, that means it's almost ready. Almost ready. Very nice, very easy and very comfortable way to mix, to make the bun cell right on the kitchen counter. Okay, with the very little of oil, you can have the delicious bun cell and it's much healthier. Okay, there we go. Beautifully done. Nice and very yummy. And continue for the same procedure. Please remember, this procedure has to be done right. You have to wait until the crepe is completely lip up. Okay, completely lip up then you know it's ready. When you turn around the crepe like this, you know it's almost ready. Just use the spatula, move around or the chopstick to move around to make sure it won't dry out at one spot, okay? Because we cannot uh, low the heat. All right, see, look at that. You can turn around like that, that means it's almost ready. See, like this is not ready. This is ready, okay? So just like this, you can feel, you can see, and it's flip over, ready to take it out.
These are bun cell made by 8-inch machine. It's very yummy, very tasty, and looks beautiful. You can eat bun cell with uh, all kind of veggie, if you like, lettuce, mint. Uh, you can have uh, all kind of mint you can buy at the uh, Asian store or whatever you like, cucumber, yeah. So it's, it's all nice veggie, we'll get it ready to eat with butter Also, there is a pickle veggie. I have shared before, um, if you have it done, and you can get it out now to eat with that. And, and here is the easy way to make the fish sauce. One fish sauce, one sugar, and two of water. That's it. And you can taste the final and see you like any extra, then put uh, lamb or put vinegar, add up chopped garlic and uh, pepper, that's it. It's all done nice and easy fish sauce and very good. Now, I'm gonna cut bun cell to half and then we're gonna eat with lettuce. I'm gonna use the uh, very crunchy lettuce and uh, wrap with um, other mint cucumber and wrap it up and now you can dip with the fish sauce mm, it's so yummy you also can wrap um, Bun cell with rice paper, which is I used to eat with rice paper. Lettuce and mint and cucumber, and then you put in half the remain half and then just roll it up. Just like this. This is the way how we used to eat. Okay, now we're gonna have a bite. Dip in the fish sauce. We're gonna try. Mmm, it's so delicious. You're gonna love it. I promise. And the leftover bun cell you can use for the next day by putting back to the uh, machine, open it up, cover the lid, 
and that's it. Leave it for a few minutes. It's gonna get crunchy again and just like fresh made. Very nice. See? Leftover bun cell as good as fresh. Very nice and very delicious. Thank you very much for watching Lee Dynasty Kitchen. I hope you like my share today and try to make it. And I hope you will enjoy as much as I do. And if you like my share today, please give my video the thumbs up. And don't forget to uh, share and subscribe. Thanks again and we'll see you next time.